Hey crocheters! Today I'm going to show you how to use the invisible slip stitch to make concentric circles in amigurumi. So the reason why I'm going to be doing this is because crocheting naturally spirals um, and so you have to adjust the pattern accord accordingly um, but with the invisible slip stitch it makes the um, the spiraling a little bit less which um, is ideal in most cases so um, I'm going to use this technique in a couple of my patterns and so here's the tutorial on that. All right so for this tutorial I'm going to start at the end of a what, what's typically a row one, um, a magic ring with some single crochets in it. And what you do for the um, invisible slip stitch is you're going to pull out a little bit of a loop remove your crochet hook and then you're going to go from the back to the front of the next stitch and you're going to yarn over and just pull that loop through and when you pull it tight it in essence disappears we've got all of these stitches all connected <clears throat> so for the next row you're going to work into um, the same stitch that we just pulled under so you're going to do your single crochet there and then like most rows the second uh, the second row is just like an increase all around so I'll do that really quick and then I'll show you that one more time all right so here I am in the very last increasing stitch and so once again to join the circle with the invisible slip stitch you pull out your hook, go from the back to the front on the next next stitch or that very very first stitch from the row. Yarn over and pull it through and it just disappears just like that. So if you want to to um, change colors in the row there are two ways that you can do it. Either on that last one you can instead of you know pulling the pink yarn through you could take a different color and you could just pull it through and then when you are going from the back to the front on the next stitch for the invisible slip stitch you pull it through like that and that's pretty like you can still see a little bit right there, but that works relatively well. Um, another way you can do it would be to um, do like we had before, where you do the invisible slip stitch with the same color. Pull that through there and then take a loop of your next color and pull it through like that and then just take this end of the the color that you're currently using and pull it really tight and that fastens it off completely and and you really don't have anything that shows that you um, you know switched colors right here it's a very clean transition so once again you just work into that exact same stitch where you've been then you continue all the way around. So once again, when you come back to the beginning of the row, pull out a loop. It is harder to see on the chenille style yarn, um, but you're gonna work back to the front. And you're gonna yarn over and pull that through. And then if you want to switch back to the pink color, you'll go ahead and pull that loop through. And then you're going to cinch that white yarn all the way down nice and tight so it can't be seen. And then you'd work your next row of stitches around. And so that's all that you need for the um, invisible slip stitch in Amigurumi. So I hope that tutorial was helpful for you guys. Um, if you want to learn 
more um, about using the invisible slip stitch with like half double crochets and double crochets, I will link to um, Yay for Yarn's video down below here where she goes into a lot more detail on that. Since the single crochet is what is typically used in amigurumi um, and to keep this video short and concise, um, I just, just taught um, the invisible slip stitch with a single crochet. Um, but absolutely, if you're interested in learning more, half double crochet, double crochet, probably even triple crochet, you can check out uh, Yay for Yarn's video on that.